So Brad Foster, uh, welcome to the Bradford Bulls. How does it feel to assign for the club for next year? Yeah, it's good. Um, club's going to places. Uh, we share a lot of interest with Mark um, and where he wants to take club. So I think I can come on board and really offer a lot. Um, it's, it's exciting time there as well. You can't answer my next question, but why was it Bradford? I'm sure the rubber club's interested as well. So what made you decide to come here? Uh, yeah, just, like I said, when I sat down with Mark and he told me where he wants to uh, where he wants to take the club and what sort of team he wants to build and um, it, it just really suited to, to how I see myself as a player and uh, I think I'll fit in really well here and hopefully uh, we can all build a, a decent strong team and do what we need to do. What's it like as a player going to a new club? I know you've got one game left with London. Is there excitement? Is there nerves? Is there a bit of a bit of everything into the mix? <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of everything. If if uh, if I was nervous because I hate singing or whatever you have to do <laughs> to, on that first away uh, trip, so uh, let's get that out of the way and then it's all good. What would your song be if you have to get up? <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, just 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 on wing it on day. See what, see what <laughs> happens. Yeah, obviously you've had a strong end to the year with London, so you must come with a lot of confidence and momentum. You know, heading into a new club and a new pre-season, you must be pretty confident where your games are, isn't it? Um, yeah, we've, um, we've we've ended up pulling, uh, finishing off quite decent with London and that, so um, no injuries or anything like that. So I'm feeling good and I'll get straight over to the Bulls, get a good pre-season, and we can hopefully hit the road running on that first game of the season. There's a uh, Chester Butler and Brad England who have also signed up for next year, so plenty of competition for places. So will it be a case of when you start pre-season, you know you're gonna have to hit the ground running? Uh, yeah, so you obviously got to earn your keep, earn your number, and earn your place in that first 17. So if you are pulling your weight or doing what what Mike wants you to do or doing what team needs, then you're not gonna make it. What can the Bradford fans expect from you next year? What kind of player are you? What can they see of you in a Bradford shirt? Um, well, just 100% every game. Uh, I won't back down from a challenge. I'll always be uh, in there and um, some strong tackles and carries and, and uh, just, just doing what I need to do for the team and just make sure everyone around me working hard as well. Just finally, you've played in front of Bradford fans before as an opponent. What do you make of them and how much are you looking forward to playing in front of them? As as a home player, as a Bradford player? Yeah, it's good, they're always loud and uh, you always know they're there, so it's, I'm looking forward to being on their side for once and um, hopefully uh, we, can, we can pick a few wins up and they can get louder through here as well.